Are you looking for the best fitness trackers? In this video, we will look at some of the 9 best fitness trackers on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Fitbit Charge 5. Even as Fitbit has faced stiff competition from other manufacturers, most notably, the Apple Watch, its trackers have always won me over. They hit a very specific sweet spot between attractiveness, affordability, accessibility, and ease of use. They're perfect for everyone who isn't an ultramarathoner or a semi-pro powerlifter trying to hit a PR. The Charge line has consistently reached the top of our rankings, and the Charge 5, August 10th, Wired recommends, is no exception. Last year's iteration introduced softer lines, a bright AMOLED screen, and almost every sensor you could want, from stress scans to electrocardiograms. Like the Apple Watch does with iPhones, the Charge 5 fast pairs to Android phones and has both onboard and connected GPS so you can track outdoor workouts without a hitch. It also now has an FDA-cleared feature to detect atrial fibrillation, via Fitbit's new heart rhythm notifications feature. The major downside is that you do still have to pay $10 per month, or $80 per year, for a Fitbit premium subscription to access most of Fitbit's best features. Fitbit is also now owned by Google, which might deter you. All in all, the hardware is still less expensive and easier to use than others on this list. Number 2. Garmin Vivo Move Trend One of the biggest pain points with fitness trackers is how each has its own proprietary charger. If you're used to the convenience of charging your phone and earbuds on all-purpose Qi wireless charging pads, hunting for your proprietary charger can be a real annoyance. The Vivo Move Trend, August 10th, Wired recommends, is the first Garmin to have wireless charging, and it works. Like 2022's Vivo Move Sport, $180, it has an analog watch face and connected GPS via your watch. Start an activity by swiping and tapping the analog watch face or waiting for Garmin's startlingly accurate Move IQ to pick it up. You get access to Garmin's most convenient fitness features, like incident detection, contactless payments, sleep tracking, and continuous heart rate monitoring. Garmin also has some of the most helpful comprehensive fitness algorithms available I've always found its body battery metric to be startlingly accurate, even catching when I'm getting sick or getting PMS. The only downside is that the Vivo Move Sport is much cheaper and looks almost the same. But you will probably make up the difference in six months when you don't have to replace the chargers. Number 3. Apple Series 8. People tend to hold on to their Apple Watches for years, and rightfully so, it is far and away the best fitness tracker if you have an iPhone. So if you want one, you're best off with the latest Series 8, August 10th, Wired recommends. It comes with new body temperature sensors that are aimed at tracking menstrual cycles. It also has new safety features, such as crash detection. In the event of a severe car accident, the Series 8 will use a powerful new accelerometer and gyroscope as well as the barometer, GPS, and microphone to detect a car crash and alert emergency services if the user has not responded within 10 seconds. These come in conjunction with a whole host of health and fitness features in watchOS 9, such as better workout views, more in-depth running metrics, medication logging, and better sleep tracking. In comparison, the new Apple Watch SE has the latest S8 chip and will have crash detection, but no wrist-based body temperature sensing, as well as no older features like the Blood Oxygen or ECG app. And with the exception of Fitbit, it has the widest array of third-party accessories. Number 4. Fitbit Inspire 3. If all you want is a simple health tracker that will track your steps and your sleep and let you know when someone is calling, the Internet's marketplace is awash in knockoffs of this fitness tracker. For $80, you might as well get the original instead. This year, Fitbit released the latest version of its hugely popular Inspire, which thankfully, in my opinion, does not use Wear OS. Instead, it continues to use Fitbit's clear and easy Fitbit app, has a pedometer and tracks SpO2 and sleep, and comes with a wide array of watch faces and accessories. All wasn't easy peasy. I had some connectivity issues and had to restart my phone when the Inspire 3 wouldn't update the time zone for a day or two. The Inspire 3 also regularly overestimated how much sleep I'd gotten, which made me mistrust their new sleep profile feature. For two months, I had a chronic nighttime cough, the Inspire 3 regularly logged me at 7 hours a night because I was lying still, when switching to a more sensitive fitness tracker put me at a much more accurate 5. 
However, if you have no health issues, it is more reliable and accessible than a knockoff Inspire 3, and Fitbit also regularly puts its trackers on sale. Number 5. Samsung Galaxy Watch 5. Samsung's new Galaxy Watch 5, 7 out of 10, Wired recommends, is the comfiest Wear OS smartwatch out there. It comes in 40 and 44 mm sizes and runs the latest version of Wear OS 3, meaning you get access to Google Maps turn-by-turn -turn navigation and Google Assistant, plus the best of Samsung's health features, including SpO2 measurements, auto workout detection, sleep tracking, and an electrocardiogram. It's great for checking notifications and responding to them, too. Like the Apple Watch, don't expect to go for days on a single charge. Wired Reviews editor Julian Chakatu says he usually had to charge it after a day and a half. Unfortunately, this watch only works with Android phones, and ECG tracking is limited to Samsung phones, as is blood pressure monitoring, but that's not available in the US yet anyway. If you want a bigger watch that's just a bit more rugged, try the pricey Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, $500 which has better battery life, has GPX support, and is made of more durable materials. Alternatively, if you want to save some cash, you can snag last year's Galaxy Watch 4, which is still a great watch. Number 6. Google Pixel Watch While Apple has been honing their smartwatch and fitness tracker to a finely tuned machine, Google has been noticeably late to the party. When it finally debuted this year, reviews editor Julian Chakatu noted that while it does include key fitness features like an ECG and a heart rate monitor, it doesn't have auto workout detection, fall detection, or SpO2 sensing. The Fitbit integration isn't as smooth as you might think, given that Google acquired the company in 2019, the app looks dated and cramped on the screen, and where OS needs more apps in general. However, the Pixel is a notably beautiful watch and the heart of the fitness tracking experience is Fitbits, which means that the data itself is very accurate and empowering, you will still have to pay for a Fitbit premium subscription. Also, more features will be unrolling through 2023. If you've been waiting with bated breath for a Wear OS watch, this might be it. Number 7. Garmin Phoenix 7S Sapphire Solar this year, Garmin released two high-end adventure watches, the Epix $1000 and this year's update to the Phoenix series, the Phoenix 7S Sapphire Solar, August 10, Wired recommends. The Epix has a 47mm case and a large, brilliant AMOLED screen, the Phoenix has a memory in pixel MIP, display. However, the Epix's case is huge, and the display eats up a lot of battery. I'd go with the Phoenix instead. This year's iteration has vastly improved battery life with solar charging, I got two weeks off one charge, with intermittent sunlight during a cloudy Oregon winter. Multiple GPS systems meant that it pinpointed my location with incredible speed and accuracy, even in the rain and under tree cover. It can record every biometric for every sport under the sun. And honestly, maps on the MIP still look detailed and pretty great. The downside? It is still fairly spendy, and earlier iterations do go on sale pretty often. The tracking is as accurate as the Apple Watch Ultras, but Coro's training plans and metrics in their proprietary training system, Evolab, are as detailed and helpful as Garmin's. The plans are also clearly aimed at more experienced runners, although there are a few for beginners. I also like the big groove buttons, the fact that the screen locks, and the startlingly wide variety of watch faces. Number 8. Apple Watch Ultra This year, Apple introduced a completely new type of Apple Watch, the Ultra, August 10, Wired recommends, a rugged sports watch intended for endurance athletes. The 2.5-day battery life seems mediocre, but here is a secret that few runners, cyclists, or skiers will admit, not all of us are Jenny Graham. Most of us are all too happy to enjoy a day out before coming home to a pork shoulder roast and a shower. If you have an iPhone and have access to an outlet, then the Apple Watch Ultra is the best outdoor watch for you. It's been certified to the MILSTD810H standard for military equipment, so it won't die when it gets too hot, cold, or dusty. It's made from aerospace-grade titanium with a flat sapphire crystal display, with a host of specialized navigation features, like a new hybrid analog digital compass, backtrack, to find your way back to the trail if you've become disoriented, and waypoints, to track points of interest. It has a precision dual-frequency GPS system to ensure your running stats are accurate in a crowded city marathon, and three built-in microphones with special wind reduction algorithms so you can take work calls from the top of the lift. Number 9. 
Garmin Instinct 2 Solar. Out of all these watches, the one I chose to come with me on a two-week beach adventure vacation was the Instinct 2 Solar, September 10, Wired recommends. It's one of Garmin's most popular backcountry watches and combines a somewhat chunky, technical aesthetic and fun colors with backcountry capability. With the Instinct 2, you get access to Garmin's multiple satellite systems and navigational features, insane battery life, and the ability to track many sport-specific metrics without blowing money on extras like a big light-up screen. The main updates to the Instinct 2 are improved solar charging, a high-resolution display, and a petite 40mm case size. That smaller size fits on my wrist and under my jacket sleeve much more easily, and the high-resolution display is easier to read. The battery also lasted for a mind-blowing 21 days, with multiple tracked activities per day. It also comes in a ton of different colors and sports-specific styles. For example, the popular Surf Edition, there are also tactical and esports versions, is compatible with the hugely popular surf forecasting company Suffline. You can see tight data and track your surfing. It also has the best colors.